Step 1, IP configuration. You just have to use the command prompt, right, to get the IP address for the machine. Okay, so, but before that, you have to make sure your PC or laptop, right, is linked your current internet or Wi-Fi. Okay, go to the start and key in the CMD. Okay, after that, type the IP config. Okay, after this, you will see wireless LAN adapter Wi-Fi or internet adapter local area connection. Okay, under this, right, the IPv4 address, this IP address actually is for your current PC. Okay, please write down the subnet mask default gateway. Uh, this setting, this these details, right, you will use on later you setting on the machine. Okay. Step 2. Search the available IP address. Go to any browser. Okay, let's say the Google Chrome. Download the advanced IP scanner. Okay, the IP, uh, the advanced IP scanner, right, will search all the IP uh, in your company, under your company network. After download, you run the, the apps. Okay, show in folder. Okay, you just click for run, run uh -huh. this one is for one time use only. Okay, you will see the scan button here, right? Okay, click the scan button. Then the Amazon IP scanner will show all the IP address under the company network. Okay, you click the view, right? Okay, you can select only show the unknown. Okay. The unknown is the available IP address. Okay, maybe I roughly pick one IP address for the machine, right? Okay, I take 192.166.1.200. Okay. Step 3, machine setting. Okay, go to the menu. Okay, if you have the admin, right, you, have, you need the admin verified. Okay, after that, go to the setup. Then go to the system. Okay, again. Okay, then you go to search the net, NET net. Okay, just now, for those details, right, okay, you input following details. Okay, for the IP address, 192.168.1.200. Okay, then you also can, okay, okay, now you save, then you go to check the subnet mask. Okay, the subnet mask, I think uh, it's the same, lah, huh? Okay, after that, go out. Okay, go to the sub, the gateway IP. Okay, then you key in the 192.168.1.1. Okay, save. Okay, after you done all the setting, okay, restart the machine. Okay, after you restart done, right? Okay, now uh, we go to the software. On the software, right, you have to modify the device. Okay, amend the IP address to the correct IP address, then you press OK. Okay, synchronize successful, that means already complete. Okay, another software, same also. You have to go to the modified terminal. Okay, then you press synchronize time. Okay, already done. You are successfully to link to the machine.